Hello everyone, in this video we will create an array by using for loop and inside the array we will put numbers from 0 to 20 except number 11 and to do that let's now create our function and we will say add values and then external and here let's now create our for loop so let's say unit e is equal to 0 e is smaller than 21 because what we want is maximum 20 so that's why it should be smaller than 21 and e plus plus so that we can iterate and now if I say my array dot push e it will put all the elements from 0 to 20 inside this array but uh, I don't want number 11 so it means that I cannot use it like this I will need to use an if statement actually. So for the if statement as a condition, I will say if e is equal to 11, then we will skip the for loop. And to skip it, I need to use this special method, which is continue. It means that it will skip number 11 and it will continue on to the next cycle. Else, else my array dot push e so that's it you know that's how you will add values uh, inside an array by skipping a certain specific value and this is just our getter function so that we can see our array after we are finished with it so now let's deploy it it's already compiled and now if I get the array you see it's empty if I add values and now if I get the array you see there is no number between 10 and 11. It means that we successfully skipped number 11. And that's how you use continue. And see you next time. Bye-bye.